This is Allrest, a world covered in a sea of clouds. Many giant life forms called Titans live in this cloud sea, and the people have built their countries and lives on top of these creatures. In the middle of this world stands the World Tree, and it's said that at the top of it lies Elysium, an idyllic land of plenty. Many great powers rule over regions of Ulres. The Kingdom of Uriah is one of them, its territory contained within their titan. The Orions deeply respect nature, boasting advanced biotechnology. For now, we should keep our troops mobilized while we monitor the situation. Their rival, the militaristic empire of Morardain, is another. Controlling titans through mechanical means, they bring heavy armaments to bear as they annex other lands in a bid to save their own from ruin and depletion. I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army 5,000 strong. The imperial province of Gormak, a plentiful land now fallen under Ardanian control, and the Indoline Praetorium, whose people revere and worship the Titans. Indol controls the supply of core crystals, which blades are born of. And so despite being a theocracy, they hold much influence over the world's military affairs. Next, the Argentum Trade Guild, a shrewd consortium of traders, they do well for themselves by deftly navigating the strained relations between other nations and exploiting wartime demand. And last but not least, Torna, carrying out secret operations under the Cloud Sea to achieve their mysterious goals. Before long, this world will fall into turmoil over efforts to find the legendary blade the Aegis. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. Hand her over to a grown-up. The Aegis must be destroyed. Ah! Then I shall Aegis too and make mountains of cash. I'm guessing your goal is Elysium. That is our dream. Who will find the Aegis? Who will make it to Elysium? Only time will tell.